Yo, what is going on? My name is Beyond from Beyond.com and welcome back to this video where I'll be talking to you guys about shiny object syndrome and how and why you guys should get out of it because this is one of the most toxic mindset and kind of a uh, syndrome online, symptom online that I see a lot of people, including my own students, who fall for it and it's very deadly because it's very detrimental and it's very costly right it's super super costly and you guys need to break free from this as quickly as possible because if you guys are falling under the shiny object syndrome without you guys knowing you are looking at a steep steep hole of burning thousands hundreds and thousands of dollars without you knowing and yeah without further ado let's get started okay so the first one we have to really understand is what is shiny object syndrome so basically in in a way or another is you are just basically going from a uh, let's say product uh, product a then you just jump to product b product b then you just jump to product c All right c and then you jump to product d and the list goes on All right so <laughs> don't get me wrong there is nothing wrong to you know expand your knowledge your skill set by you know learning different strategies from different products but shiny object syndrome comes where when you purchase product a and you have not even done anything with it or maybe just fiddle around with it and product b shows up and you say oh let's get it right you jump to product b you touch a little you fiddle around with product b a little bit you play around with it a little bit haven't really spent much time with it, then product C appears. Then you jump to product C. And the cycle goes on. You just go for A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and this goes on. And you will blame everything and you will kind of realize you got no results. You got nothing to show. And you ask yourself, why? These products promise that I can make X amount of uh, results, blah, blah, blah. Yet, I have not seen a single result. Chances are, you are falling under this thing called the shiny object syndrome where you're just jumping from product A, B, C. You have, you have, and you have amassed a pool of products that can generate you results, that can teach you real skills, that can benefit you, but you just never put your heart into it. You never put enough time into it. You never really go explore the whole entire strategy or the whole software or anything that is a telltale sign that you are jumping that you have excuse me a shiny object syndrome now my students experience the same thing despite being in a high ticket program with me you know they're still hooked on to other products that maybe cost like 17 dollars 19 dollars that promise them the world they just say hey use this software makes money uh, you know, in under 24 hours, blah, blah, blah. Sounds pretty easy, isn't it? Chances are, things that, uh, that sounds too good to be true are often too good to be true, isn't it? That is the problem that most of my students, they are facing. They're just doing, jumping from A, B, C, but because they are under the same mentorship with me, I often tell them, say, hey, let me review the thing first. That is something that I do it for my students. I, I do like a quick review for them. I help you break down and understand why that product that they want to purchase or cook them is a shiny object and it's not worth their time, basically. <coughs> so shiny object syndrome is really where you just get tempted by temptations, kinda, right? You're just going from A, B, C, D, and you really get nothing done. So the question is, how do you get away from shiny object syndrome and it's really not the most difficult trust me let me just quickly erase them okay so here we go now i'll keep product a and b as an example for you guys say you have already purchased product a right doesn't matter what high ticket low ticket anything as long as you have purchased a product product a you see a product b they pops up one of the guidelines that I always tell my students and even myself, in fact, because I have spent over hundreds, if not thousands of shiny objects in the past before I kind of straighten myself and, you know, just stick to one strategy that works the best for me. 
So product A, product B, ask yourself this question, right? Ask yourself, <coughs> what's the difference? What's the difference? Number one, say this could be a software, this could be also a software. Ask yourself, what is the difference? Right? Now, is the difference uh, big enough? Big enough. Is it big enough to make, to achieve, help you see results? Is it big enough? Is it different enough? Or is it kind of similar? Then you have to ask the, how impactful, all right? How impactful can product B be if you were to put, purchase this? How can it add, you know, add value? Because when we purchase something, when we get learn something new, you want to be able to add more value to what you already have or what you already know. Otherwise, it is it's just going to be you know, a waste of time, in my opinion. Or it can be just a whole new ball game. It just takes, it's going to consume you and takes up a lot of energy, which is not ideal. So if we look at two products, product A, product B, how can product B more add value back to product A? <coughs> if you are not clear, if you're not clear on either one of these, forget it. Really forget it. Because I'll give you an example. Whenever I purchase, when I want to purchase a new program, a new strategy to learn, I ask myself these same questions. How impactful, how much value can this new strategy add value to my current strategy? And if I'm not clear, if I'm not satisfied, if I don't think that it's significant enough, I'll just drop it. Because if, if we linger on the thoughts of possibility, Despite how minute it is, you are most likely going to fall back into the shiny object and you're like, ah, you know what, screw it, let's go for it. Some people may still go for it, that's not wrong, but in cost, that's way, if you break into the cost aspect of the business, of your own wallet, it is going to cost you maybe for nothing. It can just be you buy something new, as a work, you wasted that money. Now, I personally, not a, I'm not a fan of wasting anything. Especially when it comes to money. So even if it's just as low as $17 or $19 or $10, in fact, if it doesn't add value to me, I wouldn't want to waste it. I could have gotten, I could, I could have used the same amount of money to get myself a good drink, good food, you know, spend it on my girlfriend or something like that, rather than waste it on something that I completely have no use of. I wouldn't make sense. That's kind of my uh, theory. So <clears throat> ask yourself, at this stage, you are already involved in product A. How, what's the difference between A and B? Is it significant enough? Is it really that different? Is it big enough of a difference for you to, to sway you, to create an impact that can add more value to the product A that you're already involved in? And if you're not sure, or if you answer no to either one of these, screw it, you don't need product B. At least not at this stage. Because maybe you are not fully aware or fully, you are fully, you know, uh, understand, you don't fully understand the, the strategies in product A at the moment and you just see something fresh and new that you want to try. It can be. So maybe at this current stage where you are viewing these two products, you're not ready for it. It can be the case as well. If you're not ready for it, <coughs> that is why you're still having doubts when it comes to these three questions. So skip it. Really. If you have doubts between these three, or you answer no to either one of these, you don't need product B. Really guys, you do not need product B. Do not waste your money. Again, again, I'm not a wasteful person. I don't even like to waste anything. So especially, even, you can call me, you know, kind of a cheapo, maybe. But I think I call it strategic planning because any amount of money that you, that you waste can be money that you reinvest back into something that is much, way much more significant way much more impactful and way they can add more value to what you're already doing. And I really do not want my students or in fact anyone that is watching this video to further fall into the rabbit hole that I had once fell in. Because again, I wasted about a hundred of a few, near, I think a hundred plus to near a thousand, if a thousand plus a little bit more on shiny objects that I really regret. But hey, it's, it's part of the learning process and that is why today I'm making this video to actually warn you guys and help you guys identify what is a shiny object and what are the sort of metrics that I'm using 
that I'm teaching my students to get out of the shiny object syndrome so that they can follow the right path to success, to make constant commission, to see results, anything and everything. But you guys need to understand, you have to get out of the shiny object syndrome. If you guys can, can't get out of it, you'll be in this vicious cycle that's going to keep burning you money, money, time, money, time, money. Things that some are tangible, some are intangible. And in this current uh, situation that we live in, you know, I think we do not really want to waste extra money nor time with the people we care about and the time for ourselves, right? So get away from the shiny object syndrome. It is not worth it. But if you guys can identify what is a shiny object syndrome and you guys know how to counter shiny object syndrome, you will be in a very good place to position yourself to move forward steadily and without distractions. Okay, so I hope that is all uh, that is that you guys really understand, and that is all uh, I have for this video. I hope you guys really, really, truly understand how bad it is to fall under shiny object syndrome, and how you guys you know have already understand what I'm using and how you guys can get out of the shiny object syndrome. It is something. It's it's really one of the key things that my students have faced. And they have suffered from before and I hope this video adds more value to my viewers today which is you guys and you guys how to identify this and get out of it all right so that is all I have for this video I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys do please give a like share and subscribe feel free to comment let me know your thoughts and I'll get back to you guys as soon as I can otherwise I hope everybody have a nice day stay safe stay healthy remember to wear a mask take care for loved ones and I'll speak to you guys in my next video cheers